Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. <sighs> There's been a lot going on just this past week alone, so there are a lot of story times to come. Um, I've been so stressed out this last week with just everything that has happened. I'm breaking out. I've been so stressed. So I will be getting to that uh, in the next couple weeks to get it all together once this kind of calms down and I know everything is back to normal. In the meantime, this is a bonus video for the month of October just because there's so much going on and I've had more time to focus on my channel so I thought why not give you guys more content. So this is going to be a special just because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Glitter Bites, a small brand company that I affiliate for, has a special for, where did I put it? They have a special for a glitter stack that every time you buy one, they donate $5 to cover the cost of a mammogram for a man or a woman to detect breast cancer. So here it is, it was wrapped up in a little Halloween special bag. Super cute. So as we open this bag up, there are a couple little things that she left for me. A, a little personalized unicorn pumpkin that is so cute. It's a sticker too that is adorable. And another sticker is a little candy corn googly eyes. That's one thing that I love about Angela. Um, she always designs each packaging with so much care and what's the word for it she puts time in all of her packages because she really does care about what she does she's passionate about it and i love that about her she also included a little thank you card which says thank you so much for helping people to get free mammograms you are amazing gb glitter bites xoxo angela so thank you so much. I always love getting personalized notes from you and I really do appreciate it. And here is the gorgeous stack. It comes with six containers of glitter and pigment. You have a fine shimmer glitter, a chunky uh, mixed with fine glitter, and two more glitters and two pigments. So I'm super excited to work with this stack, although the stack might be smarter than me as I figure out how to take them apart. Oh, so they're all one piece, oh my gosh. So you just turn and twist, and this top part is like all the cap. So this whole thing comes off, but it's the cap to this one. Ooh. Okay, now that my hair is pinned back, let's get a base down. So before I dip into the pigments of the stack, I am just gonna lay a couple base colors down. Just adding this very pale, nudie pink color. If you guys wanna see what I'm using for the other colors, don't judge me. I am using this like old <laughs> flimsy. <laughs> this is embarrassing. This uh, huge palette basically that came with or that came in one of those like Alta kits that they have like during the holiday season and stuff. 
So that's just what I'm using for some of the base colors. They work pretty well for that. So that's all where my colors are coming from. So I dipped into this pale pinky color and next I'm going to go in with something just a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to deepen it up with this color right here. Or maybe not. Maybe I need to go darker, apparently. So, let's try this again. I'm going to dip into... Actually, just kidding. The first color I used was not this one. It was this one over here. That one's like a shimmery. This is like a, a matte. But I'm going to dip into this one, since I need something that's a little bit darker. So... See how this goes. This is what happens when you use bootleg ass. I can't even call that a palette. Like it's not even a palette. Yeah, see they look so much darker in the kit. And then when you put them on, they're very like subtle almost. So this is what I mean by like they're a good base. Like they're good for like your transitions and stuff. Cause even their dark colors aren't like dark. Plus, you know, their kits are cheap. Words. Plus their kits are pretty cheap. They go on sale a lot, especially for like Black Friday, stuff like that. So that's usually when I snatch them up. Cause I mean, they're pretty good at like, not pretty good. They're really good at blending and stuff, so. Just get a bunch of transition shades. As much as I love this rose gold color, I think I'm gonna go with this darker one. And then drop this one in the inner corner. And one of these other glitters, probably this one towards the outside. We'll see how that goes. Cause you know, like I'm such a beauty guru, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I really hope you guys didn't come here like expecting like some really professional bangers for makeup looks because I'm still in the beginning stages of trying to figure that shit out. But I'll do my best. Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna try and take this like darker purple shade and darken it up just a wee bit more before I lay down like the pigment. Cause it's a little bit shimmery, so I don't want that to be the base of my eyelid anymore. I think I'm gonna try to do some pretty advanced shit I think I'm gonna try to do a halo eye with this beautiful pigment. So yeah, let's watch this and hope that it doesn't become a train wreck. This one bigger because I don't know when to stop. They're gonna have to be even. I'm going to have to convince myself that they're even, or else I will make this many times worse. I'm going to go ahead and dip into the bottom pigment of the stack. This pigment in general is just 
a beautiful shimmer. Since the pigment came out a little brighter and lighter pink than I thought it would, I feel like I'm gonna have to lighten up the inner corner to match. So, maybe we can salvage this yet, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna make something great. So I'm going to dip into this lighter shimmery pink shade. I've already wet my brush. Y'all, y'all, if this actually wind up being a slayed look, I'm taking my title as beauty guru, I'm doing it. It's looking really good. Like, I'm surprised with myself right now. And I'm just gonna start blending those two together. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do my foundation before I start putting my chunky glitter on just so I just don't want anything to cover that up. Okay, so I have my foundation on and powder over that. So now I'm going to go in with a new primer I just bought. It is the, gosh, the NYX Glitter Primer. Ooh, and it's like catching weird on my camera. Anyway, it has this like really pretty holographic um, packaging. It's like a goldy nude color. It's kind of strange. Is that gonna color? Oh, I really hope this dries clear. I'm actually going to, going to go ahead and go in with this darker glitter because I feel like the finer glitter would look better on the outside. I'm going to start off with what I hope is a little bit. go ahead and do the same on the other side okay so here is that final look with the glitter I think it looks pretty cute I'm going to try to get a cuter angle later so that you guys can like really see it For right now I think I'm going to take this top other chunky glitter that has like the bigger specks in it and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. So I'm just going to take this angled brush and actually go in and take this dark color, oh, this dark purple, and drag it on the bottom of my lash line first before I add the rest of these colors. I'm like grabbing these chunkies one at a time <laughs> to like place them because I'm super OCD about where I want them apparently. And he just fell off. Okay, so the chunky glitters are in place. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and try to get a better angle because this light is just not flattering this look in the slightest. So I'll be right back. So here is the final look. I am wearing a lipstick 
from e.l.f. in shade Boudoir Berry. It is one of my favorites, but for the first time, like, using glitter, I feel like I did a pretty good job. Honestly, it's a really good start, so I'm definitely going to keep practicing and get better, and it's going to be really cool later on seeing, like, the transition and my progress with makeup. So especially glitters, because I don't really have a whole lot of experience with glitters, but her glitters are so beautiful. Like I love this one. The chunkies are so beautiful in the inner corner. So I will definitely be getting more and showing you guys and getting better at it. But here is the final look. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it and you want to see more from me. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video specifically and leave a comment about what you think I should do next. So I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. There is still one more bonus video for the month of October. I'm actually, I'm probably going to post the video on the 31st instead of the 1st because my normal schedule is the 1st and 15th. So I'm going to do it a day early just because it is a Halloween specific video and I'm really, really excited to show you guys. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in and watching again. Bye.